Marguerite Chapman was a famous actress known for her roles in old movies. Many people saw her in films and were impressed by her acting. Some might have special memories of her characters, while others just remember her being memorable. Share your stories about this actress in the comments below. We'll keep sharing more interesting facts about her life and career. Stay tuned. Marguerite Chapman, hailing from Chatham, New York, began her journey in the entertainment world at an early age. Raised in a tight-knit family, her love for acting drove her to explore opportunities beyond her hometown. Engaging in school plays and local theater productions during her formative years fueled her passion for the performing arts, ultimately leading her to pursue acting as a career. In the late 1930s, talent scouts noticed Chapman's abilities, securing her a contract with a major studio. Making her film debut in the early 1940s, she swiftly emerged as a promising actress. Despite the challenges and competition in Hollywood, dedication and perseverance propelled her forward. Throughout her career, various significant events and influences shaped Chapman's trajectory. Critically acclaimed roles and notable films expanded her opportunities within the industry. Versatility and commitment allowed her to tackle a diverse range of characters, from leading ladies to supporting roles. Despite Hollywood's ever-changing landscape, Chapman remained resilient, steadfast in her pursuit of acting. Adaptability to different roles solidified her reputation as a talented actress. Marguerite Chapman, the actress known for her role as Alita in Flight to Mars, left a lasting impression in Hollywood. Although largely forgotten today, she was once considered for a major role in Titanic. The director, James Cameron, initially chose her to play the older version of Kate Winslet's character, Rose. However, due to health problems, she couldn't take the role. Another actress from Hollywood's golden age, Gloria Stewart, eventually played the part. Interestingly, Stewart, who was older than Chapman, lived 11 years longer than her. Chapman earned a star on Hollywood Boulevard and gained attention as Miss Breathless in 1943. Her work in the entertainment industry is well regarded, and she's remembered for her performances on the silver screen. Marguerite Chapman, a talented actress known for her roles in various films, also had a passion for painting. Besides her acting career, she pursued art and showcased her skills as a painter. She rests at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California after her passing. In Flight to Mars, she played the character Alita. During the 1940s, Chapman gained popularity and became somewhat of a pinup girl. Despite her success, her fame decreased over time. However, Monogram Studios recognized her appeal and cast her in the film, relying on her physical appearance to attract viewers. Despite being in her 30s during the making of Flight to Mars, her allure still captured attention, evident in her revealing attire and significant billing in the credits, even though her character didn't appear until halfway through the film. In summary, Marguerite Chapman, an actress known for her roles in various films, also pursued painting. She is buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. In Flight to Mars, she portrayed Alita, maintaining her appeal despite decreasing fame. Marguerite Chapman, a celebrated actress known for her work from the 1950s onward, received many awards for her achievements in entertainment. In the 1950s, she won the Photoplay Award for Most Popular Actress, which set her on a remarkable path. As time passed, Chapman's talent continued to shine, leading to her getting a star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. This honored her lasting influence on the entertainment world. Throughout her career, she not only showed great acting skills, but also a strong dedication to her work. Chapman's determination and talent made her beloved by colleagues and fans alike. Her charisma on and off the screen left a lasting impression, earning her widespread admiration. Beyond awards and recognition, it was her genuine love for acting that connected with audiences, inspiring many aspiring actors. Her role as a pioneer in entertainment still inspires, reminding us of her lasting influence on film. Marguerite Chapman's journey shows the enduring power of talent, hard work, and passion in making a lasting impact in acting. Marguerite Chapman, known for her work in film and modeling, was considered for the role of Elder Rose Dawson Calvert in Titanic. However, she couldn't audition due to illness, so Gloria Stewart got the part instead. In the movie Flight to Mars, she played Alita, but her appearance is limited to the latter part of the film despite being top billed. Chapman also found success as a model, appearing in ads for brands like Chesterfield's Cigarettes, Elizabeth Arden, and Campbell's Soup. Photographers in New York admired her hands as the most beautiful among her peers. 
Chapman's talents spanned multiple industries, showcasing her versatility. Marguerite Chapman, who played Alita in Flight to Mars, had an eventful life with ups and downs. In 1958, she got into trouble with the law for driving drunk on Sunset Boulevard. She crashed her car into another vehicle, and the police got involved. Instead of taking a sobriety test, she stuck to her guns and didn't cooperate. Besides acting, she really liked politics and was a big supporter of the Democratic Party all her life. This shows she had different interests beyond just acting. It's interesting to note that her character Alita in the movie was inspired by the Queen of Mars from a Soviet silent film. This shows her appreciation for old movies and adds depth to her character. Overall, Marguerite Chapman made a big impact in both the entertainment world and politics. Her story of overcoming challenges and staying true to her beliefs still matters to people today. Marguerite Chapman's life story, full of surprises, reminds us how complex life can be. Marguerite Chapman, along with actress Myrna Dell, is credited for originating the idea of traveling autograph conventions. She was discovered while working as a telephone operator in White Plains, New York, in 1938. Nearly four decades later, in 1977, her final acting role was that of an operator in Daughter of Evil. Chapman's career spanned many years, and she made notable contributions to the entertainment industry. She played various roles throughout her career, showcasing her versatility and talent. Chapman's journey from a telephone operator to an actress reflects her dedication and passion for the craft. Her work continues to be remembered and appreciated by fans. Marguerite Chapman, a talented actress in both film and television, faced a heartbreaking event in her life that deeply saddened many. Despite her successful career, she experienced personal tragedy when her daughter passed away unexpectedly at a young age. This loss had a profound impact on her, and she found it difficult to cope with the grief. Nevertheless, she continued to pursue acting, showing resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Chapman began her career in the 1930s and became well known for her roles in various movies and TV shows. She appeared in many notable productions, demonstrating her talent and versatility as an actress. However, her personal sorrow affected her both professionally and emotionally. Despite the difficulties she encountered, Chapman remained devoted to her work, delivering performances that left a lasting impression on audiences. Her commitment to acting and her ability to express emotion on screen earned her admiration from fans and colleagues alike. In summary, Marguerite Chapman's life was marked by both achievements and hardships. While she received praise for her acting career, she also endured personal tragedy that deeply impacted her. Nevertheless, she persevered in her passion for acting, leaving behind a memorable impact on the entertainment industry.